we bought this property in 1983. And um, we always thought that we would build here, but it took quite a while to do that. We didn't start building until um, we got our permit in 2000. Welcome to 174 Spindrift in Carmel Highlands. I'm William Smith at Cobalt Banker Del Monte Realty in Carmel, and we are looking forward to having you see this beautiful home. It is my pleasure to be speaking with Margaret Kaplan, owner, builder, and resident of this beautiful estate at 174 Spindrift Road. Margaret, your home is embellished with stained glass windows, embossed images on 14 fireplaces, and pre-Renaissance paintings glazed in the tile work on the walls. It is truly a work of art. What was your inspiration for all of this? The whole house is a combination of fun, a whimsical theme, and the spiritual. The roof line of this 8,200 square foot home is very unusual. Tell us how you chose it. We saw this house just gorgeous house in Pebble Beach, seeing it from the very beginning. And it just grew into the most lovely thing I've ever seen. And I found out that what was so unique about it was the roof. Most people wouldn't realize it's a woven roof. Margaret, your paver-covered driveway leading to the five garages has a distinct pattern in it. What's the story behind that design? I found out that it was from the 14th century, the Medici family, it was a tombstone. Right now, the, the grandchildren love to run around it, <laughs> keeping who keeps on the pink stones and play tags. So uh. The paper company, you know, used this, this house and this design on their cover. I know that this beautiful 4,000 book library adjoining the Great Hall is your favorite place to work because this is where I usually find you when I come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a job when we move. <laughs> and the, the two stories, too. I, 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 I don't like low ceilings, uh -huh. and with wood, you need the light as a uh -huh. contrast. Uh -huh. Here in the dining room, it appears ready for you to have a large group for dinner at any time. It's very hard to find a dining room large enough for our family. Uh -huh. um, we can, we've had 14 people at this table and that fits and then we use the Great Hall for uh -huh. Thanksgiving and we had up to 30 there. <laughs> this kitchen is the ultimate in finished detail and design with a direct view of Yankee Point Cove. As most people, the kitchen is the most used one and it certainly is when we come with people pulled up more than the four chairs. The detail in the kitchen includes a fireplace in the cozy eating area, lighting beneath the counter, and more of those pre-Renaissance images. From the master suite, you are able to view the private beach at Yankee Point from both the sleeping area and the master bath. The features include a mirrored walk-in closet, another sculptural fireplace, more tiled murals, and a step up to the royal master tub. You are surrounded in luxury and beauty. Yes, on one side you could look at one mural and then from the <laughs> other part of the bathroom the other, uh -huh. if the view isn't good enough for you. Right. The approximately 1900 square foot finished basement comes with exquisite hand carved panels, three double doors leading out to the English gardens in the backyard, a wine cellar, and even a master suite for the nanny to stay next to the playroom where your grandchildren play. It's much more than just a finished basement. It's a gorgeous environment unto itself, isn't it? Yeah. We are now in the guest area. Margaret, you and your husband use this for business. It's a very large space, isn't it? It's all in the same thing, you see, as the medieval. Thank you, Margaret, for sharing your special insights to the creation of your artistic home. What an experience this home is. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this home.